Hello my strong strong friends. So I get comments in my videos all the time asking like why are those people watching you? I would feel pretty cool if there was just random people watching my lifts, but the fact is those are my friends. I've been able to grow a like strong base of best friends at the gym and I've learned that whenever I wanted to get strong or like complete any kind of fitness goal, I needed to make it fun and I needed to spend a lot of time in the gym. In my opinion, the best way to have fun in the gym is to make a bunch of best friends while you're there. I found some of my really, really good friends that I've had for the longest time at my gym and I've also met my boyfriend there. Now, when we start lifting or start something new, we kind of feel awkward, maybe embarrassed, like we don't know what we're doing. Um, the great thing about being at a gym is that people are gonna be there as well, so maybe some of them might be beginners themselves or they definitely have been beginners before, so they could be a good resource to pull some knowledge from. My number one tip for finding a friend at a gym is just to ask for a spot. At some point in your life, everyone is going to need a spot or going to give a spot. Be careful if your friend is benching over 500 pounds for a double, like me, but in most cases, they won't. My next tip is to ask something simple like is my depth okay or am I getting low enough in a squat? Now those mean the same exact thing but this is just a super simple way to open up a conversation with someone who might be doing the same kind of movements as you and someone who might know what they're talking about. You know that conversation could turn into conversations about programming or how they got strong or like what the best post-workout meal could be. You can also continue your lifting conversation and find someone who looks kind of strong or looks like they know what they're doing and ask them what they do for programming. Um, this is how I got into powerlifting. I made a friend who was super, super strong and he helped me when I eventually ran this MOLA base cycle. So he kind of coached me through that and it was a good way to like really get to know each other. Um, number four, maybe the easiest tip yet, is to just compliment them. Now, if you're a guy or maybe just uncomfortable complimenting someone on their Lululemons, maybe you could talk about a piece of equipment they have and ask them like where they got it from or how they like it. Lifters are always trying new things like belts or wraps or sleeves and you can ask what they use and how they like it and where they got it from. Now, this one might seem a little creepy, but totally not for me. An easy way to find other people at your gym um, is to look at like your gym's Instagram and maybe look at the gym's geotag and you can see like what when other lifters go to the gym maybe there's a yoga class that you're not going to or maybe there's a certain like kind of meetup that you're not taking advantage of yet you can find out and maybe chat with people on Instagram or on Facebook um, or you can check out your gym's actual page and see like if there's already any social activities that you might not know of yet. If you're a power lifter or a bodybuilder or weightlifter or even a strongman, you can find people who are interested in what you're doing at any kind of local meet. Go to a meet, even if it is to just watch, you can go and volunteer, you can go and even compete when you're ready. Um, I've made some of my best friends at meets and you know I've met friends all over the US just from going to different meets and talking to other people there. Sometimes when we compete as a competitor, it doesn't really seem like that big of a deal to us, but it is really cool if you know someone who's competing, even if you are just like sort of friends, if you go there and support them, that really will mean a lot to them and it kind of like makes competing all the more worthwhile when other people are like behind you and excited for what you're doing. Now, if none of these really work and you're really struggling, you may want to go on strongstrongfriends.com and order my new t-shirt. Um, I'm so excited that these are finally ready. Um, this round will be a pre-order and it'll be open for only one week. So from March 28th, through Sunday, April 3rd. This will be the first and only time I'm selling this exact shirt. So make sure you get your orders in this week. It would really mean a lot to me. Um, it would be awesome if you found like another strong, strong friend in the wild or in the gym, and then you guys can bond over being strong, strong friends together. Um, I've talked about it a bit, and you guys all seem pretty excited about the t-shirts. So I'm super excited to offer it. I think 
you know, I've kind of, we have kind of created a cool community of people who are like really interested in lifting and bringing something new to like YouTube fitness world. Since going to expos and people like came up and hugged me and said like, hi, my strong, strong friend. Like that is so cool. You know, I get the comments still, even though I've explained it that like, oh, I hope I can be a strong, strong friend one day and I hope I'm strong enough to be your friend and I just want you to know that you're strong and if you're not the strongest in the world, that's okay. You're still my friend and I love you and keep being strong. Um, that's the end of this video, guys. Bye! If you're in New York City, make sure you check it out and you can sit on this hammock. Every gym needs a hammock. I love going to new gyms because I learn like what one day my home gym will look like. But they've been doing some improvements so you can see. Did you get enough caffeine? Is your 